idea. If it's got the caffeine, <laughs> if it's got in the it, caffeine to keep us going, <laughs> sign me up. So, well, we get here at you know 1:32 <laughs> in the morning. We need a little extra caffeine. All right, we're looking at the risk of severe weather today. On that scale that you see at the top of the screen, the legend yellow is a possibility. That orange would be. Yeah, more likely than just a possibility or red is likely to put this into perspective on Friday we were in the more likely category so this is down from that but it's still significant because with as Matt pointed out we've got damaged tree limbs and with strong winds coming in we could see additional tree limbs come down which could lead to power outages and then there's the potential for hail so that's why today's weather impact day as we monitor two rounds of thunderstorms coming through here's the first one you see a line coming across the Nebraska Kansas border just north and, and into Mays Marysville North of that, all along I-80, are some additional showers and thunderstorms that will follow this first round. Watch as FutureScan paints the timing of this. This brings it down into Kansas City between 9 and 1 o'clock today. Not everybody is going to be getting the rain, but those who do will get some showers and thunderstorms. And again, not every thunderstorm will produce severe weather, but a few may intensify a bit. Then as that moves by, we will see a break in the afternoon activity and it'll get hot. Our temperatures will be in the upper 80s and lower 90s, but we're not done yet. There's that second round of strong, possibly severe weather that will come in tonight between 7 and midnight and the risk for large hail is greater and you can see it here in central Kansas. If you're traveling out that way between Salina, Manhattan and Emporia, they could be dealing with one to two inch or larger size hail as that comes through. And then this is gone for Monday. We should have a really nice day Monday. Regarding that risk for large hail, we even kind of shorten this risk outlook and show you that that's from Kansas City westward with that intensity out farther into central Kansas. Today's forecast includes our weather impacts. I've taken them off for the middle hours where we get that break in the rain between the two systems. You can see the chance of thunderstorms is greater in the second storm than it is in the first storm. Winds today will be 10 to 20 miles per hour outside of even the thunderstorms and of course gustier as those thunderstorms produce the outflow. Monday's high 86 degrees. Tuesday morning we'll have some showers and thunderstorms. Wednesday just hot, partly cloudy. And then Thursday and Friday, we can't rule out a pop-up shower, though right now the chance of rain is low. Look how much cooler it goes though from Thursday's high of 91. Friday's high 84. Next weekend, can't promise it's going to stay dry all weekend. Again, we're still in a drought, so the rain is welcome. But 84 on Saturday and 88 on Sunday. Matt and I will be right back.